What's going on guys, I'm Lone Player here and today I'm going to be showing you guys everything new in today's patch for Destiny and this is patch 2.0.2. .2. This is the second major patch since the big 2.01 that launched at the beginning of the Taken King and I'm going to be demonstrating everything that's new and updated in this patch in addition to other things that weren't in the patch notes but are brand new to the game like this crazy looking sparrow. But firstly let's take a look at the patch notes and everything important. The first most important thing is that the Night Stalker glitch has finally been completely fixed. While they were fixing it they removed the quiver perk but now you can once again use that perk and select it to use three arrows in your Night Stalker. They also fixed the little wall glitch where you could cheese the war set on the Saber Strike which I thought was pretty funny. One of the bigger things is that they fixed a legendary drop glitch which was occurring in the cruise pool so now legendary drops will occur a lot more often now and I believe it was a bug which is preventing some drops from actually happening but now that should be fixed and there should be a lot more legendary dropping in the loot screens of a crucible match towards the end. So they've done a load of fixes to quests and bounty steps mainly that loads of the bounties now only require you to complete a match instead of winning so there's a lot less emphasis on winning and all you have to do now is complete the match with the massive quest that unlocks the weekly crucible bounties they've gone through and made each step a lot more simple so that's really good because the quest is a real chore but now it's going to be a little bit quicker the iron banner has returned for the second time in the taken king and you can see lord saladin's inventory here while i'm going to talk about some changes the biggest one is that the game mode is now clash not control so for the first time ever it's just team deathmatch as a capturing and holding our flags to win and the drop rate for legendary gear has also been increased in addition to the rank gains which have been increased by 20% which is actually quite a big difference then that's going to be a lot quicker to get to rank 5. You will now be guaranteed packages when you reach rank 3 and rank 5 from Lord Saladin which I love. I think the idea of getting packages with random rewards is an amazing idea so I'm not sure what will be possible to obtain from these but I'm sure I'll have videos up showing what I get from my packages and my Iron Banner loot in general so look forward to those videos on the Iron Banner loot and there's also an Iron Banner Ghost which can drop at the end of games when you are rank 5 so that's quite an exclusive reward which is definitely one of the upper tier items. I'm looking forward to see what that looks like. Into the item changes, Banshee now sells weapon parts for Glimmer and he sells them for 5 weapon parts in exchange for 250 Glimmer which is actually ridiculously expensive. So those of us who have used most of our weapon parts for forging weapons during the House of Wolves, we will now have to pay a lot of Glimmer to exchange for weapon parts. They are very expensive but I guess it's better than nothing. But because you can now buy them, they reduce the amount of rep you get from trading weapons for faction reputation at your vendor so that's kind of like a way to balance it and make sure it's not abused. Shax now sells legendary swords if you've completed one exotic sword quest before so when you've got one exotic sword getting the other two becomes a little bit easier the Agonarch rune will no longer be able to be transferred between characters so that's quite a big change and you can now only get one charge per day as opposed to three on your other characters but you can still transfer the charged ones and probably the thing that makes me the most happy in this entire update is the Loria Primer emblem doesn't get constantly awarded anymore. I'm not sure how many of you guys had this bug but with me every time I got rid of this emblem they kept giving me more of them and it would keep popping into my inventory for no reason. I couldn't get rid of them and all my characters are postmasters but just filled up with these emblems. It got really annoying but now I can finally get rid of these emblems. Now you might remember in my last video talking about the weekly update Bungie mentioned that in December they're going to introduce a new refer a friend system whereby if you as a high level player helps a new low level player rank up like someone who just got the end of Christmas for example if you guide them through destiny and carry them to the high levels by helping them out you're going to get rewarded and it seems we can now see some of those rewards in the tower kiosk. So here we have this awesome looking sparrow in the sparrow kiosk you can go to all the kiosks yourselves in the tower and have a look for yourselves. But this sparrow is called the EV34 Vector Infinite and this has these crazy tron lines all over it. In terms of stats and perks they're pretty unimpressive and the time breaker and grave robber are definitely better because they get the super boost but this thing undoubtedly wins on looks. This thing looks amazing. I love the tron line design and it says you obtain this by completing the refer a friend quest a tale of two guardians. You're also going to get this hilarious duo dance emote so I'm guessing this is for you and your friend that you just referred to stand opposite each other and if you do this dance it will look in sync which is pretty cool and there's also another emote which is the high five and that's also again from that quest. If you visit the emblem kiosk you will find in collection 4 under promotion 5 this really cool looking emblem which is called sign of the infinite and in shaders you can see this infinite link shader so these are all the items acquired through destiny's upcoming refer a friend system we still don't know how it's going to work but we do know these will be among their awards and that is it for this update these are the most important things in it and let me know what you think about the refer a friend system and how do you guys think it's going to work so i'm really interested to see myself remember to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it i'd really appreciate that if you want to read the full patch notes for every last detail in this update those will be linked in the description hope you guys have enjoyed this update and i'll see you guys in the next one